Hey everybody, Steve Thorne coming to you today live in Orlando, Florida. And I am at one of my favorite places in the world to go to and get away, whether it's a holiday, a weekend getaway, or a New Year's retreat. And uh, it is the Gaylord Palms. They've got amazing themed sections of an all-enclosed uh, building, huge atrium. It's just a gorgeous property. And uh, the subject I wanted to talk to you about today is New Year's goals and New Year's resolutions. You know, as we approach the new year, we all know that it's so common for all of us to look back and say, well, what did I want to do last year? Or what has my life been about? And make some specific changes. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, resolutions and goals and give you a couple specific tips that I've used that have been really helpful for me. These are also things that I teach in my one day program and I teach in my sales workshops. Let's get right into this. Uh, number one, when it comes to your goals, I recommend that in order to get very clear on what those goals are and what's most important to you, not other people, that you go to a place like this or the beach or a forest or a garden or a place, a quiet place in your home that you can shut the doors, turn off the phones and really get focused on what's important to you. That's going to require some meditation, some prayer, some quiet time if you will. And it's something that we all need to get better at. So number one, to get clear on what it is that you want, turn things off and get plugged into what's important to you. Number two, when you get clear on those things, don't just have them in your head, put them in writing. Because it's so important to have a written document, something that you can see and you can refer to. So put them in your journal, put them on an index card, put them on a legal pad, put them on your computer, put them on your phone, put them in writing where you can visually look at them and see them hold yourself accountable. So number one, get clear on what they are by going into a quiet space. Number two, put them in writing. Number three, have a specific time frame for those goals. And when you have a specific time frame, whether that's a daily, a weekly, a monthly, quarterly, annually, whatever it may be for you, have a time frame that you can specifically check your progress and that you know that you made a decision to achieve a certain result by a certain time frame. And the last thing that I want to mention to you is accountability. There's a thing that I love to teach called the dry eraser pen strategy or the mirror, the bathroom mirror strategy. And it's basically taking a dry eraser pen, ladies you can use lipstick if you want, and um, put your goals on your bathroom mirror because you will check in there not once, but I'm guessing at least twice per day. When you do that, you will be accountable to those goals, you'll be seeing them every day, maybe someone else in your home will be seeing them and encouraging you by being accountable to yourself and to someone else you're much more likely to achieve those goals but most importantly you're keeping them in front of you this is Steve Thorne and I'm signing off here today at the Gaylord Palms in Orlando Florida wishing you a happy a prosperous and an amazing new year and until I see you again thanks for checking into Steve Thorne TV and I'll see you down the road bye bye for now